In a containerized architecture, different software components run inside their own containers across a cluster of machines. And because containers can be stopped and started quickly, much more quickly than virtual machines, we can adjust the number of containers in real time to respond to changes in demand for those different components. We call this microscaling. In this demo, we show containers running across a Mesos Marathon cluster, with Force 12 controlling the mix of containers in response to simulated, randomly generated demand. In this demo, we simply have two container types that we call Priority 1 and Priority 2. Imagine that Priority 1 is a real-time component, like a web server, and Priority 2 is a background job. Our cluster has four virtual machines on EC2, all running Core OS. One of these VMs acts as the Mesos master, the rest are agents. Our demo controls the number of Priority 1 and Priority 2 containers running on those Mesos agent machines. We have a random number generator running in its own container that simulates the demand for Priority 1, and we use the remaining resources to run Priority 2 containers. The random number generator stores the demand value in console's key value store. The Force 12 agent reads this value out of the store on a regular basis and uses Marathon's REST API to start and stop the Priority 1 and 2 containers accordingly. When Force 12 asks for a new container, Marathon calls the Mesos master, which decides which of the agent virtual machines it should run that container on. In this more detailed view of the same demo, the bottom half of the screen shows which containers are running on each of the three Mesos agent machines. On this occasion, Marathon placed the random number generator on the machine in the middle, and the Force 12 agent on the right-hand side machine. Priority 1 and 2 containers are distributed across all three agent machines. The graph on the top left shows the current demand for Priority 1 containers, and the number that are actually running. When demand is high, Force 12 requests more Priority 1 containers, and when demand is low, it stops them, so that spare capacity in the cluster can be used for Priority 2. To keep things simple, we have a fixed limit of 9 Priority 1 and 2 containers that can be running at any time. In this way, microscaling allows the system to handle high priority work in real time, while using spare capacity for lower priority work in an opportunistic fashion. You'll find much more detail about this demo on the Force 12 blog, including links to the code to help you set up your own Marathon Mesos cluster.